We now have Rose Demon's Soul. The Dole Demon's Soul. Oh shit. I never saved Frake. Oh well I'm guessing doing that. <laughs> Oh, I got I got all uh, fucking preoccupied. Oh well, that's fine. If I don't get three levels now, I'll have it after this. Thou seek then. Yes, I do. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I should get three levels. It's just a matter of what. I need twenty-two to use purple flame, and honestly, I don't really need it for anything too soon. There is that one boss that I'm gonna do. Probably in two weeks time depending on how I record but for the meantime endurance is pretty solid There is a boss that likes fire attacks and I said Magic we don't need any more of faith. We don't need any more of so yeah, I forgot to mention to even talk to uh, The magic guys you need 10 10 magic to even talk to the faith guys. You need 10 faith so night is really good for that Really fucking sick um, yeah, fuck it. More strength. I'll doubt me. May strength be granted. Hi. Yeah, you do that. So, if we want to upgrade to, well, the different paths, other than quality, we would have to go see Baldwin. As you can see, quality, hmm, that, uh, that does quite a bit. So, for the meantime, we're just going to plus four. And the good thing is because like I've because I've got all the dupe stuff, I can always not have to farm another weapon. I can just melt it down and get it back to where it was. For convenience more than anything. Crossbow was rather handy, but we won't be needing it. Even though it proved its worth quite a bit. Now let's see. I'll keep two on me for when I go to that certain level. You can Actually, no, I won't need it. Unless I get invaded. In which case, shit. It's very unlikely I'll be invaded in, um... In Shrine of Storms, but I could be wrong. While we're here. I'm gonna need to do this for when Frake rocks up, so... Let's get to it. This will show off a duping glitch again, just in case you either didn't see those episodes, or... Well, you just need a reminder. So we press oh, start. Yeah. When the text box comes up, well, you, you use it by pressing um, square. You press start. And then the second you say OK, mash. You have a heart of gold. And now we'll have two in our inventory. And we'll have like, what, 1,023. So we need Frake to make the one thing you can from the Doll Demon's Soul. Which, yeah, is actually kind of interesting. So, the soul of the demon's fool, the demon fool's idol. So, the souls don't really say too much. But, yeah, that's, uh, that's how it tells you it was just fake. You know, in case fool's idol didn't, you know, tip you off enough. So, Latria, land of the queen's ivory tower, which is what I should have fucking read in the first place. An old man took revenge on the queen by locking her family in a prison. With inhuman guards. All that escapes the place are the prisoner's cries. So there she is. So yeah, the, the once royal mistress kind of does look similar. Jesus Christ, the brightness. I'm trying to not fucking... There we go. Kinda? No. Kinda similar to the once royal mistress, but... Yeah, no, clearly meant to be more like the idol. So I never checked this out, actually. All Guide of Souls. Stone that radiates, uh, yeah, the radi- <laughs> A stone radiant with the light of souls. Color changes depending on the souls in the area. Um, Jerry. Friend of Frake, who we're gonna go save. Meaning, saving Frake. We're saving Private Frake, not Frake, uh, Private Jerry. Go away, dude. Is that one shot? Tis. Wow, that's how much uh, extra damage it does from one level of upgrade. Sick. 
Yeah, so anyway, um, one thing I meant to mention, which, well, I can now because I'm human. So, stealth is a little different in this game, in terms of, like, the noise you make. Yeah, there we go. So, in body form, you will make noise properly. In soul form, you don't really. Um. Oh, fuck. Yeah, so that's the paralysis again. So we got Nemesis chasing us. No, not really. Man, I wanted them to actually pursue me in the level a little so I could put in the Nemesis music. Original or remake, either way. Um, but yeah. So I'll chuck on... I can't right now, but maybe when I get back to the Nexus, I might chuck on some plate armor and you'll hear clank, clank, clank. Even though you probably should have heard that in an earlier episode. Oh, shit. You'll hear that mash, though. So there we go, we'll get a proper look at it this time. That goes straight the fuck through us. So that attack will kill you on the wake up if you don't roll, or at least for most builds. So the main thing you have to talk about when discussing stealth in this game is the fact that when you're two-handing bigger weapons, and I'm assuming the pole arms qualify as such, you will make less noise than if you held a weapon a little lower, like, say, if I get the straight sword out and held it like this. I think the mid and hammer might not even qualify. It's referring to more stuff like the great axes or great hammers, where you'll sling them over your shoulders, or over your shoulder, and that'll reduce noise. So that's cool. But anyway... Uh, as far as I know, not that I'm wearing it other than this, the Thief's armor isn't any better for stealth. But that's fine. Anyway. Magnificent. I never expected to get out of there alive. My name is Freyk. I am known as a sage. I thought my magic would give me an edge against these demons, but how wrong I was. I have been enfeebled by my long imprisonment. But I can still move my legs. And I can make it back to the Nexus. I thank the stars that I escaped when I did. I owe you my life. Sorry, I was trying to um, get him into frame to show his face, but it's kind of awkward. I have been enfeebled, but I can still move my... Okay, well... Anyway, before we leave... Jerry Stiletto. I'll look at the damage stats in a sec. Small, extremely small rapier, dagger sized, and bladeless. It is imbued with special magic. Mm-hmm. So, this little bad boy, on hit, steals a bit of MP. What the fuck? That was weird. I don't think it was that. I think it was the person near... No, it must have been that. It must have just been the particles. So that's cool. That, uh, that little orb thing. I don't believe there is actually cast light in this game, but it's pretty similar. So I, I don't know what they're talking about, because that looks fucking bladeless. That <laughs> doesn't look bladeless. So, it's a rapier. Does magic damage as well. EDD scaling. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. What do you need? 14. Yeah, well, I don't know if we'll ever get to 14 magic, but... Yeah, it's what you expect. Same thing. Anyway. Now would be a great time to use a Shard of Archstone, but we don't have any. So, well, I'm going to hoof it. So if I cut this out, see you back there. Talk to Freak. I'll go try to Merc Morelda. And if that goes nowhere, well... Nah. Right, well, we're back. Sorry, Maiden. Don't have enough to level up. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have mentioned she was a demon. Maybe that was a bit of a spoiler. Oh well. So, I was looking at the Once Royal Mistress's dialogue once again, just to try to remind myself, and I think I did talk about everything I wanted to. So, yeah. I don't think there's anything else. Uh, one thing to note was, and I was pretty sure of it, but I couldn't remember, so thanks to the wiki dot reminding me, uh, she's voiced by a lady named Jenny Funnel, who voices Quilana in Dark Souls 1 and Yosefka um, in Bloodborne. 
the original Yosefka, I'm pretty sure. She also voices the someone who hangs out here. Not over here. Wait, wait, no, it's here. It's not here. It's here. Let's go. Just saying. I feel like I need to mention it every time. So here's where Freak lives, like I said. And you can see what I mean by easy to fucking Goomba stomp him. Hmm. So we'll have a chat first. I have a proposal for you. Could you bring your demon souls to me? As I determine more about the essence of the soul, I can teach you new magic. A demon soul is no mere amalgamation of lesser souls. You have your wits about you. Surely you understand me? Yeah, I mean I do. So, we've duped some stuff, so we have plenty of spells we can get. Cool thing about boss souls is it costs nothing to get. Well, for spells. So that's cool. So we'll talk first and then we'll deal with all that shit. Do you have a connection to the disciples? Do not pay attention to them if they speak poorly of me and my magic. Prayer is for the foolish, quaint, and soon to be dead. And heaven forbid the day you find out what their so-called God really is. I was defeated and captured by the Golden Elder beyond that dungeon. Beware of him, for he manipulates souls. He has power over dark souls, those susceptible to madness and paranoia. I know of three human leaders who became demons. King Alant of Boletaria, Astraea of the Valley of Defilement, and the Golden Elder of Latria. They have proven that humans can evolve to a higher state. We were wrong to assume that only demons could do demon work. Mm-hmm. So, few things to mention, of course. Sorry about the clicking in the background. I am fully prepared. Please fetch more demon souls. So I Freak can still be oh. patient, my fine magician friend. So Freak was talking about how apparently people can become demons. Which yeah, it's kinda of touched upon. So we name dropped King Alant, who we know I mean his son's kinda of chilling there. Um Astraea who we will find in that world right there, Valley of Defilement. Boy, that's a fun place. And, well, the old king. Up there. <laughs> but anyway, that's some cool shit. Now, let's just make sure. Hard demon, doll demons, iron demons, cool. So this means I've duped them. Sick. You have your wits about you. Alright, now we'll do this shit. Sol Ray? Well, let's read this first. Spell from the demons, the demon fool's idol's soul. Fires a ray of light which pierces the target. Ah, uh, yeah. The idol from which the spell was derived was in the form of the queen of the now lost Latria. This spell shows a fraction of the queen's power as a gifted sorceress. Yep. Fire spray. Spell from the demon... Armor Spider's Soul. Shoots a small fireball. Can be continually fired while moving. Or can be fired and continually... Yeah, fucking whatever. Alright, so I looked at these. Warding is a better version of protection. Takes two slots, however. So we'll remember one. I'll just show this shit off. Or we'll get rid of that. I'm gonna show some shit off. Bring me more demon souls when you can. I patiently await you, my fine magician friend. Yeah, so, uh, Freik is, um... Freik's interesting. Doesn't seem totally on the level. Hmm. But yeah, like he said, it'll be interesting to see what happens when those guys find out about their god. And us to an extent. So, Soul Arrow. You. We can just talk to you, it's probably safer. You saved Sage Freight, did you not? 
then I was right to bend the rules and teach you a few tricks. Nevertheless, I'm grateful to you. Do you see how important selfless acts are in this dreary world? Yeah, well, thank you too, buddy. What is it? Are you still begging for magic lessons? Ah, oh, so be it. Better than having you bother Sage Frake. All right. So learn is the same. That was by accident. Soul Ray. Be careful how you use it. Soul Ray looks like this. That's the longest range spell in this game, supposedly. Uh so we can just skip through all this dialogue now. You've seen Flame Toss, so we can get rid of that shit. Fire Spray. We can't use Be warding careful. due to, um, well, the lack of attunement. So Fire Spray is Fire Surge from Dark Souls. Pretty alright. Than... We can make another spell from um, Armor Spider Soul, but well. We have to get our last magic person. Not counting Urbane, of course. Be careful. So, I was trying to remember, Demon's Prank in Dark Souls 1 and 3 is called, um... Or, yeah, Oral Decoy. So, nice job, me. That's Cloak. Yeah, like I said, yearning in Dark Souls 2. Water Veil, I don't think I've shown... Okay. Wait, no, I did show this off, right? I can't cast it now, anyway, because we've got Cloak on. So, I meant to point out, um, with the Feast Ring and while we've got Cloak cast, we have this, we have these Smoke Puffs. Way more pronounced with Cloak, which will inevitably tip us off way more to invaders. Because we got particles around us. Demon's Prank looks like this. Yeah, charming in it. Alright, now Water Veil, I'm positive I showed off, but I might as well do this showcase while I can. Fuck it. God damn it. Warding, okay. I'll show one day. It's basically with flash sweat, isn't it? So, just due to the utility and given where we're going, I think Soul Ray's gonna be better than Flame Toss. We can only cast it a few times. Be careful how you use it. Mm hmm. Um, but still. So we can't cast it right now. But yeah, that's why we got the spice. I picked up another Widow's Lotus. Yeah, well. Why did I chat to you? I meant to. Sorry, this is becoming how most episodes end now. Well, you found yourself a demon soul, did you? I'm impressed. Yes, indeed I am. Stay the path, and you will soon be a monster yourself. Ah, uh, shut up. <laughs> Can't you see you've fallen for their trap? I mean, you got a point, but shut up, man. Have you seen my corporeal flesh? Has my body gone rotten? Yeah, so we're skipping, uh, like, a bit of time in between each, but I'm yeah. Sorry. Please leave me alone. He's very much a Dark Souls crestfallen kind of quest, where more success, the more success you have, disillusions him even more. Uh, who are you? I don't remember anything. Let's try one more time. That should be the last piece of dialogue. Uh, yep, got it. Okay, well, all that considered, let's go here. Okay, cool. So this is in between. I had to warp back because I realized I fucked up and uh, didn't set to peel black. So this happens. Yeah, so that's him giving up. Actually, pretty sad. Sorry if it seems like I'm not giving this the respect it deserves, but yeah, we're almost done here. Bjork, you use a great sword, not a katana. God fucking damn it. Alright, cool. So in case I showed that, I forgot to mention that doing the kick equivalent first and then hitting gives him instability. 
So you do more damage, in which case, let me just one-shot him. So, I forgot to bring the baby's nails, which I was about to talk about, so that's uh, fucking clever. So baby's nail, one last thing I meant to mention about it in this session, is that if you aggro a freak, he uses one. Now, that kind of lets on something about assassins and whatnot. So maybe it's the inverse of Dark Souls 1, where it's implied Griggs could be an assassin, or used to be. Kind of like how Orbeck was in 3. Um, but yeah. So yeah, who knows, Freak is a little sus. Yeah, there's some stuff you'll say later on, which uh, makes you uh, wonder certain things. Oh fuck, she's that side. Oh. Alright, so she's a lot tougher. But we are stronger. But again, she's tougher. So baby's nail would have been handy here. Holy shit! <laughs> Alright, so yeah, as you just saw. Oh, don't tell me. So we could backstab her. She might just give up in a sec, depending. So we do have the range, because halberds. But given every other weapon I could use right now, you know, this doesn't seem too cheap. Oh fuck. Yeah, so that axe is a fuck ton. So we got it down about a quarter. I'm very interested in having that axe. It would be quite cool to have. Because then I can probably try to use the Master's Ring, even though it's arguably not a very good ring in comparison to most of the other things in this game. Holy shit. We're going to heal up. So she hasn't lost us. She did that second ago. Well, more like a minute ago. So I could have backstabbed her had I been ready. Now, it did occur to me, due to what I'm fighting and the fact that my damage stats are a little lower, I could go for something like a Dragon Infusion. But, well, that feels kind of redundant. Also, it just occurred to me, I'm, ring I'm wearing a clear ring for no reason. Which seems incredibly stupid. Don't you fucking fall off a cliff. Okay, she's de -aggroing. Nemesis is de -aggroing. She is re -aggroing. I'm having a look to see what else I can wear. Not a lot. So we'll leave the cling on, because fuck it. Alright, let's see if we can backstab her. Nope! No, we can't. Yeah, this is probably where I'll chuck the Nemesis music on, if anything. So yeah, if I was in soul form, I would have died every time I got hit, bar the rolling attack. So you know, for once. If I'd been hit twice and the roll wouldn't have killed me. So yeah, I guess this was why pole arms are considered noob weapons in this game. Because look at that fucking range. Now, let's just have a look. Soul Ray. So this bad boy will pierce. Also, yeah, we've got to deal with this little dreggling now. Fuck. This is an awful idea. To demonstrate, we can line this up. Oh well. Oh shit. I appear to be caught. Hey, Dark Souls 3 panic rolling, eh? How about that? She has de aggroed. Something I didn't necessarily want, but I will take. Ah, fuck you. Alright, we've got plenty of fresh spice, so let's just shoot. Might as well do some chip from range. I don't want to cheese her, but I'm going to take. I'm going to take it while I can, because, yeah, this is tough. So, as you can see, this is kind of like the hunter fights from Bloodborne. Oh, fuck. So, there's a reason she only swings once most of the time, because she'd kill you easily if she did twice. She begs the question as to why she does not. Okay, we'll see if we can get that. Oh, no, no chance there. Yeah, the hunter bosses and the hunter mini bosses in Bloodborne were very similar to this. Also, as you can see, she's got poise for some reason. She should not have poise. So, just thinking of it, she kind of fights like Creighton from Dark Souls 2. Oh, there we go. She's two handing it now. That's she's she means serious business. So, I've always wondered like what's the best way to use axes, just standard axes in the Souls games. And, oh fuck, one-handing seems pretty decent. I like them with great shields, I guess, but any power shields can be pretty good. Yeah, I don't know. 
I'd really like to know what's the best way to use them, like, at a meta level, just to see what's the most ideal setup. Not because I'm a meta tryhard. I guillotine axe, sick. I guess we will go back to level up, or I'll just show my stats afterwards. Fuck, we need 20 strength. Well, I guess we're going back now. Sorry guys, you're sitting through one more loading screen. This is just to justify, you know, all this shit, so I can actually upgrade, yeah, upgrade it and whatever. Because I really fucking like axes. So this thing weighs six, so it, sh it should be heavier than my mid and hammer, right? Yeah, yeah it is. 3.5. And it's a light fucking halberd. Halberd type weapon. Okay. One more level. Oh, well, fuck it. Two more, and I can use the, uh... I can use the purple flame. Cool. Because of my light armor, I should be able to get away with that. Sick. Alright, let's just show this move set off, and then we'll finish up. So, one, two, three, four. Pretty, yeah, pretty generic axe move set. We have some chops and shit. Rolling R1. Rolling R2. Yeah, two hand that shit. One, two, yep, yep. Our twos. Baseball swings. Rolling out one. Rolling out two. Alrighty. And back step, well, I think you can gather. Right here. So I'm, in, I'm excited to try this out. Or he does 97, holy shit. My upgraded longsword does 121, so fuck, that's gonna do a ton when it's, when it's upgraded. Oh, one thing I should just. I should just check. DNA. That's about right. 87 base. Pretty cool. Anyway, that's that. Now we'll get the purple flame out. Fuck it. I don't think I've shown it proper. Maybe I have. I can't remember. Brushwood's still way too heavy. Strength's way too high. And it's way too heavy. So. This is a good shit right here. Your bash isn't too good. Like, what's I gonna say? I was gonna say good. Isn't. Sorry. Isn't too bad, is what I meant to say in the first place. Because you actually have block frames on the shove. Oh well. So that's something to show off. Yeah, I uh, got nothing else to really say. That's it. So, next we will go to the sh Shrine of Storms. At least that's the plan. Which means. We can get a Talisman of God, we can get some good shit. And you get to see one of the cool level, cooler levels in the game, in my opinion. Yeah, I don't know. Next, I'm thinking... I'm thinking this. But Valley of Defilement is hard. The first world alone is pretty fucking tough. So we'll see how we go. If I'm going there, I'm definitely going to have some fire with me. Turpentine for sure. Because there's a lot of shit weak to fire in there. Anyway, that's that. Um, so I learned how to gesture. I always forget. Not what I wanted. You hold X. I and mean, I'm pretty sure you hold X and then you let go. So that's that. Um, can we get one more? Well, there's that generic shit. Bye, YouTube. Can't you late? Ah, oh, fuck no. No, we're not ending on that shit. No fucking chance. I was gonna sigh, but I guess this is good enough. Anyway. Bye.